Now let's look at problems where it's not a natural log function, but it's a log with a different base. So the only rule that we have so far is working with the natural log function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite all these problems as a natural log using the change of base formula. So remember from pre-calc, if you have a log base, any other base that's not a natural log, you can change it to have the same base. So this can be rewritten as the natural log of B divided by natural log of A. So the first problem here, this can be rewritten as natural log of X over natural log of 3. Now, once you rewrite this like this, I do know how to take the derivative of the natural log, so we can take the derivative from here. Remember this, you do not have to use the quotient rule. Natural log of 3 is a number. So really, that's just your constant multiple. So any numbers just get multiplied with whatever that derivative is of the, that has the variable. So we're going to pull this out and then multiply by whatever the derivative of natural log of x is, which is just 1 over x. Same thing here. So I'm going to rewrite it using the change of base formula and then take the derivative. Notice again, you have a constant multiple. That natural log of 10, we can pull out and then we just need to take the derivative of that, which is 1 over x. Same thing here, rewrite it using change of base. So pull out that 1 over natural log of 5, and then we need to take the derivative of natural log of 2x plus 1, which is going to be 1 over 2x plus 1, but then notice you do need to use the chain rule here. The one thing you should notice in all these problems is the only thing that's extra when we have a base that's not a natural log is notice you have 1 over the natural log of whatever these bases are. So there's two ways you can go about these problems. You can always rewrite it using the change of base formula, or if you want to remember kind of the rule, the rule is it's just 1 over natural log of A, whatever this is, and then 1 over X. In this case, same thing, but you have a chain rule, so du over dx. So it's up to you if you want to go straight to the rule, or if you want to use the change of base formula, and then just memorize the natural log. And that's typically what I do. I just change everything with natural log. But if you'd rather use the rule, that is fine. So let's practice with these four problems. I'm going to go ahead and do the change of base formula for all these. So this is natural log of cosine of x over natural log of 10. Remember, when there's no base written, it's called a common log. So the base is 10. So derivative. Pull out the natural log of 10. Derivative of this is 1 over cosine chain rule, negative sine of x. This one gets rewritten like this. So the derivative, pull out the 1 over natural log of 4. Derivative of this is 1 over 2x times the chain rule. This we can rewrite like this. Derivative is 1 over natural log of 6. Gets pulled out times 1 over x. And lastly, rewrite it using change of base. Derivative is 1 over x squared plus 1 times 2x. If you just memorize the rule, you would go straight to here, and that's fine.